What's up, family? Just wanna go over some go over some, you know, things that's on my mind as a content creator on YouTube. Um you know there's a lot of shaming tactics going on, you know, everyone talking about our commander in chief, how he disrespect the melanated countries. I'm not surprised. I think here down in Leesburg, Virginia, or Maryland, one of one of the two, um, the news was on uh, Fox Five, and um, they were just guy, you know, melanated brother, and he found some stuff early in the morning, on, you know, on his property, some KKK paraphernalia, stuff of that measure, and um, he was saying derogatory things, you know, right, you know, racist rhetoric due to Martin Luther King holiday coming up and stuff like that, celebrations and stuff like that. They do a lot. They do a lot of uh, marching, in, um, especially in District of Columbia, D.C. They do a lot of parades and stuff around this holiday, you know, to uh, commemorate, you know, to pay homage to uh, MLK, which, which they should. You know, I hear a lot of criticism. I hear a lot of people talking about MLK it's a fraud and talk about his uh, uh, marital status when he was, you know, it's sad, man. We'll do all that, but we don't pick out the good parts that, you know, MLK stand for. But we want to go back and try to dismantle the man's uh, legacy and stuff like that. But you got to ask yourself as an individual, what the hell have you done? Okay? The majority, probably, probably not even the majority, probably just facts. None of y'all can't feel it. Nobody can't. He done it. He made history. Can I feel that man's shoes? You know, he started a great migration. Don't you know, due to uh, Martin Luther King and that uh, migration from the south up up to the north, to speak, as far as black folks coming from the deep south up here and uh, uh, DMV and stuff like that, if it wasn't for... He played a, a, a pivotal part in that, him and the other civil rights uh, activists. You know, if it wasn't for that great, mi great migration from the south to the north, to speak, it wouldn't be a lot of generations of families that, you know, grew up in D.C., you know, where I come from, born and raised in southeast, uh, the metropolitan area of D.C., and various other places like Maryland, Virginia, you know, and on up to New York, New Jersey, you know, Pennsylvania and stuff like that. You know, if it wasn't for MLK and Chicago too, Chicago, Detroit too. The, most of those people came up and settled from the South, okay? Due to the civil rights, you know, they settled in the North from, they came from the South and settled in the North, excuse me, due to that great uh, migration, you know, as a civil rights movement so half of the people that it's, it's been like the past what 30 years give or take you know families you know people being people procreate and stuff like that you know let's put it like this uh the late 60s 70s you know 80s on up due to you know that movement there's a lot of people that was born here that families and the origins of their families come from the deep south just like D.C., majority of people from D.C., they, you know, they're Kakalakians, North, you know, North Kakalaki, you know, North Carolina, you know, South Carolina, you know, ATL, the Dirty South, Houston, Texas. Majority of those people's families come from down south that grew up, you know, in D.C. Their parents came here from the south. The civil rights movement, they settled down, you know, and, um, People got busy, you know, during the, during the Woodstock era and stuff like that. When vets came back from Vietnam and, and and what followed them was drugs. And, you know, I can go on and on about that. That's what started the crack academic and stuff like that. First it was the first is what is now coming back. This is nothing new on the sun. The heroin the opium, the opioid academic that's going on now. That's nothing new on the sun. That was happening when the soldiers came back from um, Vietnam. 
he had all those drug burns, you know, had all those guys came back into the states that was black and they stopped peddling them drugs. That stops pe peddling that brown smack, that brown sugar, that hair raw. It's nothing new on the sun. Now, it's a it's an all out crisis because we we as black folks don't engage in that. You know, it's still some ad. It's a lot of black addicts, but not like it used to be back in old days, like the sixties and seventies. Now the Caucasians are more, you know, acceptable to that drug. Now they're having a big problem with and they uh, ethnicity, as far as them old and stuff, but not so much eyes. What we doing to ourselves? We killing each other at a faster rate, you know, but with gunplay and violence. But as far as the drugs, nah, it's not like that. Not like it used to be. And I'm happy. It's, you know, I'm happy we weaning off that bull crap because we don't need it anyway. But uh, <clears throat> just covering some stuff, people. <laughs> so I commanded you say choice words like that, and um, we have a we got this Oprah Winfrey thing going on. You know, I got mixed emotions about that. People rumoring that she could she could be a good president for whom? For whom? That's what I want to know. It's not for no black man. I tell you that now. And she caters to. I'm not going. Y'all should already know that she don't cater to us a hundred percent. Come on now. She's a billionaire. Not to be jealous of because I'm not. I mean, she's a successful woman, but she's a successful woman. A black woman, but you got to do your proper diagnosis and definition of who do she stand for. I mean, what do she stand for as a black woman? Okay. Do you see her all up in the grassroots? Do you see her in the conscious community? Huh? Uh, uh, has she invited Dr. Umar Johnson? Or, or is she reaching out to Dr. Umar? Uh, 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 Tyreek Nashi? Is she reaching out to them? She was really down with the team. I'm pretty sure she see what's going on in the conscious community. Everyone is on social media, and new, and those guys are the two trending things as far as the Negro sector is concerned. People still making multiple videos about these two gentlemen. So you mean to tell me she ain't looking at it? That's how you can tell when someone really cares, man, when they reach the grassroots, not surface issues, not, you know, anyone can get up there at a, a war ceremony and, and spit game. But, you know, the work ethic, you know, it's, 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 the, it's the works. Without faith in the grassroots and without works, it's dead. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to look at that. So, she ain't about that business, you know. It is what it is, family. So yeah, I've just been, you know, I've been been chilling back, looking at what's going on. You know, it's getting it's getting heavy, and it's right around this holiday. It seems like all people coming out the closet to shame one more again, and to put us in a psychological bondage, far as an evil demonic way, far as people stirring up this pot. You know. They're trying to get something started. They've been trying to do this for years. They're trying to create order out of chaos, and they're trying to orchestrate the chaos first and work on people's uh, emotions. It's due to population control. That's right. We got some wicked people in the dark, and they're pulling strings every day. Y'all better know who they are or try to identify what groups they serve. Y'all must do your homework and research. And with that, I'm out.